The loss of a spouse can be both emotionally and financially devastating. I'm Mary Liz Burns from AARP, and I'm here to help you navigate the process of how to claim Social Security survivor benefits during this difficult time. As a widow or widower, you may be able to collect up to 100% of what your spouse was getting from Social Security or what they were entitled to get if they were eligible for benefits but had not yet claimed them. But there are some important things you need to know. Let's take a look at how to collect Social Security survivor benefits if your spouse dies. First, you should notify the Social Security Administration, or SSA for short, as soon as possible after your loved one has passed away. This helps ensure that SSA does not keep sending benefits to your late spouse, which you would have to repay later, and gives you a chance to talk to a Social Security representative about your survivor benefit options. To file a claim, you need to have been married to the deceased for at least nine months, unless the death was accidental or occurred in the course of military duty. In most cases, you have to be at least age 60 to get survivor benefits. There are additional guidelines for children and other dependents of the deceased. To apply, you'll need to call SSA or visit your local Social Security office. You cannot apply online. One question for many people I talk to is how much they'll receive. Well, that depends. It can be between about 71 and 100% of your late spouse's benefit, depending on your age when you claim. Spousal benefits will switch to survivor benefits after the report of death is received. Keep in mind that you cannot collect both your own retirement benefit and a survivor benefit at the same time. You'll get the higher of the two amounts. And here's something else many people don't realize. If you're divorced, you may be eligible for survivor benefits, but only if you were married to the deceased for at least 10 years and you did not remarry before reaching age 60, age 50 in some cases if you have a disability. From that age on, remarriage does not affect eligibility for survivor benefits. And in case you're wondering, any qualifying spouse, current or former, can receive survivor benefits with no impact on each other's payment amounts. Social Security can provide support to you and your family when you lose a loved one. To learn more, go to aarp.org slash social security. Please take a moment to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you won't miss out on future videos like this from AARP.